Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done in our lives. Thank you. Lord, we thank for our fathers, the one that have gone to work, the one that with us today. We thank for their life, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. As I'm going to see your word today, Lord, please speak through me, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. First of all, I want to thank my pastor here for this opportunity he has given to me. Amen. I want to thank you, man. May you be honored also, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Second of all, I want to, I want to appreciate the fathers. Can we all stand up and clap our hands for the for the fathers, Lord, in Jesus' name? Can someone please read Luke 11, verse 11 to 13 for me? Luke 11, verse 11 to 13. Children. I heard this film called Nimbe. 
Nimbe was a child. His father, his father and mother, they always fight. They always fight in their family. So there was a day Nimbe, Nimbe father asked him to get food for him outside. Nimbe father asked to get food for him outside. A book, there, there this bully that bullies Nimbe at school. So this bully, he bullied him right outside his house, threw the food on the ground. So when Nimbe, when Nimbe got home, the father asked him where the food was. He said he no, he don't know. So Nimbe father called him a failure. That he does not know what he's doing in life, that he regrets having him. So, Nimbe, Nimbe grew up hating his father. Then he came to the instance where he started going out with bad friends because his father does not have time for him. His father does not have time for him. So he goes out with bad friends, smoking, drinking. He grew up to be a bad child. So, the fathers are really important in the life of the children today. They must have time for their children. If not, they may grow up with bad children in the future. The third period my father is the Bible. Every day my father would call I and my sister. Talk to us about every aspect of life. Spiritually, mentally, physically. Any, anything that he finds, he will talk about. So, the father must always preach to the children about the fear of God. If not, if they don't preach about the fear of God, they may grow up being bad children in the future. Deuteronomy 4 verse 9 reminds me of this proverb, this proverb, if a sheep, a sheep cannot raise a, a goat, because a sheep cannot raise a goat. All, for, all my life, my father has done things for me. All, all my life, all, all my father has done for me, this is the most important. Preaching the word of God to me is one of the most important things my father has done to me. And the proverb I said earlier, a sheep cannot raise a goat. This means if you are smoking, a father is smoking, drinking, or the parents see the parents see the children see the parents smoking, drinking. The, the child may, may like to copy the the parents. It takes the grace of God for that child not to copy the parents if you know what is good for him. So if I remember my former school, the principal caught this this child in the lower class than than mine. If they caught him and a group of friends, they were smoking and drinking. So the, the bishop called the parents of that child to the school. So and, and when the parents came to the school, the bishop was not on seat. So they had to wait for the parents to come. When the bishop came, he saw the father smoking right in, inside in, inside the school. So the, the bishop just told the father that he would talk to him later because he, can, he cannot say anything. He seen that what, what his child what child was doing in school what, what the father is doing at home. So if he's telling the father about what his son is doing, he's just saying that he just tell the father what the father is already doing before. So I pray that God I, so I saw how I heard the story. The father the child was talking to a teacher about the story. So I kind of heard when they're talking about it. So I I thank, I pray that God will give us the fathers. That for, I thank God that God give us fathers that led their homes in a perfect way, and that and they save us role models for their children. And last to the children, fathers are really trying for us. They are doing everything possible to make us happy. And what are we to to repay them? Children, who can answer that question? What are we to repay our father for the good things that he has done? He has done for us. Our fathers are trying for us. They are doing everything best to make us happy. I will be able to, to, to repay them for their good deeds. What do you have to repay fathers for the good deeds? Thank you. Thank you. By appreciating him and um, be, be great people in the future, we children, I want to tell us that we that when we grow up, we must grow up to be responsible and respectful people in the future. Because, our, like I said earlier, our father, our father has trained us, trained us in the way of God, teaching us the Bible, teaching us that God died for us, God died for us on the cross of Calvary. So we must grow up to be responsible and respectful children in the future. I have a story to tell. My father told me this story. It's about a man. He went for an interview. 
So at the interview, you saw that things were out of order. The phone was on, nobody was there. The TV was on, AC was on, chairs were disorganized. So what he did as a responsible child, he, he arranged the chair off the fan, switched off the fan, shut off the AC, shut off the TV. So there was this camera that saw him doing all these good things. So the, the management didn't even need to employ me asking questions. They employed him straight because of the things that they saw him doing. So which children must be, must be responsible and responsible children in the future? So that if proceeds outside, they will know that we are, they are prepared to train them well. They train them well, but they are good children. Because before I left Nigeria, there was this day you know, my mom wanted to defend somebody at school because she was maltreating them, maltreating the, the, the child. So the, the, the teacher now saw that she was my mother. The first thing she told my mother that I know your son, that is a respectful child. He does not do any bad thing in class. He listens at the in class. He's a good child. The day I got home, my mother told me the story. I was really happy that I impressed her. <laughs> she told my father too. I'm really happy that I, I impressed my father. I showed that I was a respectful child. So, we should be more respectful and a public in the future. So that when we go outside, we'll be bright children in the future. We'll, we'll be bright people. They will know us because we should be the salt and light of the world. We're salt and light of the world. So, we must. So we'll be probably today in the future. Lord, I thank you. Lord, let's pray. Mm -hmm. Dear Father, I thank you for your word today. Mm -hmm. I thank you for giving us the grace to appreciate our Father today. Mm -hmm. I also thank you for giving us the grace to appreciate you as a special Father, as Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. But I pray for the life of the children, the life of the fathers, that when they grow up, that, that when they grow old, they will not die, but live to see the life of the Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus' name. Amen. They will live to see their grandchildren and their beautiful children in Jesus' name. Amen. They, they will live to read the food of the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. I also prefer the life of the children. That when they grow old, they will be responsible and responsible children in the name of Jesus' name. Amen. They will not grow up to be bad children in Jesus' name. Amen. They will not follow bad friends in the Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I also want to thank you for giving... I also want us to remember... Thank you for giving us a grace. To show our love to you, our helpful our Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Just my prayer. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Amen. You are a battle axe in the hand of the Lord. Amen. He will use you to uproot Amen. and to plant Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. In this nation, the land will obey you Amen. in the name of Amen. Jesus. I use you as a point of contact to every children in this ministry. Every children in this ministry. You will excel Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will excel Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will excel Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. The ones that are here today, the ones that are not here today, I spread the hand of God upon them wherever they might be. That the grace will be sufficient for them. Amen. Able to excel in diverse situations Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. That is our pastor. I think the message to the daddy today. The message to the daddy today is be responsible. If I summarize it, you are laying a foundation. You have a you are a pathfinder and you are a role model to the family. Whatever way, whichever way you live your life is setting an example for the children that are coming behind. Don't live like you are living your life. I'm just living my life. No, you are laying a path, a footprint for all the children that are in that home. If you are doing something as a father, if the child does it and the mother says, why did you do this? We will ask you, you know the children of this country. They don't know how to hide things. They say it just straight the way they see it. But when dad did it, you didn't say anything. That's it. Please, daddies, including mommies, whatever you are doing that is not right, it's a seed 
If you do good thing, you are planting a seed. If you do wrong thing, you are planting a seed. Let's move towards the good seed and get our children trained in the way of the Lord. Make it mandatory that you declare into their life every day. There's what is called parental authority from the mother, from the father. Establish it in your home. Declare grace, mercy into their life and it will come to stay. It's like building an altar in their life. The more you pray, the more the prayers stay and it will be accumulating for them for their tomorrow. God bless you, sir. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. The fathers in the south in the house. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 H